in Medjugorje in front of St. James Church and I'm with, what's your name? I'm Margaret and my husband Vijay. Where are you from? We are from India. You live in India or you live in Qatar outside of uh, India? We live in Abu Dhabi. In Abu Dhabi, wow, I went to Abu Dhabi, yeah. nice place. And um, when did you hear first time about Medjugorje? Actually to a friend, like she was living in Dubai too and uh, she got to know through her Facebook page about Medjugorje. Yeah. And then she visited Medjugorje. Her name is Melita. She visited Medjugorje, and uh, later on, like I started reading about the operations taking place over here, and it was just a miracle that this group was planned to come over here, and uh, we were not part of the group. And these are friends who were coming over here. They just told us, you know what, we're leaving for Medjugorje on the 25th, and we wow, wish we could come with you. And she said, why don't you try? And normally it wouldn't happen in a week's time, getting the ticket, getting the hotel accommodation and all. So we called up the travel guy and asked him if, uh, his name is Lindsay. We called him up and asked him, if, is it possible for us to join you? And we like, it's a little too late. Everything is already planned. So let me give it a try. And he was not getting leave and uh, we were not getting air tickets. And then he called up and said, you know what, air tickets are available at a little extra charge. He got leave at the same time, we got their tickets and in a week's time we came here. So that was like a calling, we never expected to be here. And uh, miracles that worked here I'll say is like uh, he cannot walk very fast, he cannot climb stairs, he has gone to Apparition Hill and come down, he has gone to Cross Mountain and come, he has an ACL in his right knee. Mm -hmm. So it makes it difficult for him to walk a lot. But he has climbed yesterday, we went to the Cross Mountain and came down and he's absolutely fine. We never expected he would do it. In fact, he kept saying, no, I'm not coming. I'll stay in the room. You carry on. I'll not be able to climb up. And when we reached there, he said, okay, I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. And we actually went up and we came. Mm -hmm. And it was such a mesmerizing experience for us. We really, really enjoyed ourselves. We thank Mother Mary for bringing us to Medjugorje. It is like, you know, I can't express the feeling that we are having right now. In fact, she did come in my dream before coming for this trip too. I and what did she say? What did she say I in the dream? I spoke to Father Leone about it the yeah. day before. Uh -huh. uh, the dream was uh, it was on early morning. I woke up and I was smiling at myself, and I, and I like the dream was that I'm standing in front of the statue of Mother Mary and praying to her. And actually, I'm not standing in front of. I'm standing diagonally behind her, and uh, she turns like this, and she's pouring petals, mm -hmm. rose petals, in the form of flame. Mm -hmm. She's pouring it on me like this and Vijay standing behind me is telling me, move ahead, you can hold it in your hand. So I move ahead and I can, she's pouring those petals like flame in my hand. Like, you know, and it was such a beautiful feeling at that moment. Then I met Father Leone the day before and I told him my dream and he's like, Mother Mary is blessing you. She's pouring the Holy Spirit upon you. So you have a, you have, uh, what he said, you have a mission he told me. He said, you need to carry your word forward, like it's such a blessing and I'm so happy and so content. It's Oof. I can't express the feeling and it's the same with my family too, my son Veer. <laughs> nice to meet you, the boss of the family is here now too, in the yes. center, very good. Uh -huh. And how is it for you Medjugorje, how did you experience here? Uh, Medjugorje was a very nice place. I he also enjoyed, uh -huh. he, he climbed mounts, yes. You climbed the mountain as well? Yes. Even though it was still tiring and I even hurt my leg, it was still fun. Uh, wonderful, mm. wonderful. Uh -huh. And what um, what did you feel going up that mountain? Yeah, like Cross Mountain. How was the feeling going up Cross Mountain? Initially, the thought was, will we, will we be able to do it? Will we be able to climb it? Especially these two, I was worried about them. But as we went higher, like in the first station, the second station, we're like, no, we can do it. We're coming here for Jesus, we're coming here for Mother Mary. And they are going to take us up safe and sound, you know. I, we actually carried uh, medicine, bandage, gauze and cotton and band-aids. <laughs> That's know? how we like, human beings are, we want to control, be prepared, no? Yeah, yeah. be prepared. Like, you know, I said, what if he falls and he gets hurt? I need something over there. Uh -huh. But we didn't need anything. We went and talked. Put it very simply, it's like one step at a time. That was the only thought at my in my head uh -huh. after having my initial hesitation. Uh -huh. Once I got there, it's okay. 
<laughs> take it one step at a time. That's what Jesus says in the Bible. Why do you worry about the other days? One day at a time, isn't it? That's what I learned there, to patience. Yeah. Absolutely. And then going up Apparition Hill, a different atmosphere. How was that for you going up Apparition Hill? It was like, we were saying our prayers, we walked up. And as soon as I saw Mother Mary, I remembered my dream. And the only emotion... Oh, you touched me. Was, uh -huh. I was crying. Me too, up there, you know. Yeah. I was just crying. Uh -huh. I was kneeling down there, joining my hands. And I had my sunglasses, so I was hoping nobody would see mm -hmm. me. But, you know, he noticed, like, tears mm -hmm. were just flowing down my eyes. And I was just thanking her for mm -hmm. bringing us together as a family. Mm -hmm. As a keeping us together. And I just prayed to her, like, you know, like, bring us closer to your son. We want mm -hmm. to be closer to Jesus as a family. We mm -hmm. want to be close to him. Mm, well, if you touch, you see my eyes, you touch me, my God. <laughs> and what would you tell people, Why? what is Medjugorje about? Why should they come here? Somebody who doesn't know, I came here as a YouTuber, I had no clue. And I'm, that's why I'm doing the channel. What would you tell, what is Medjugorje about? Somebody who has no clue and you know. That's actually difficult to put into words. Mm -hmm. Because I, the way I feel it is, unless you're called, Unless that thing is there, there's no, whatever else the world may tell you, anybody may tell you, unless the calling comes from within. It's, I cannot be, I will not be able to convince anybody else. Yeah. So that's very simple. You know, that, that's how they say here, you only come by invitation of her yeah. here to that place. If not, you will never, that's what happened to me. Yeah. I would not be able to say anything further than that. Uh -huh. that much you that felt like a calling that you had to come. And it was just, in, I was, we were meant to be here, as she mentioned, it was the last minute decision everything just fell into place even now look we were sitting uh, in the other coffee shop and looking oh, at you and and a friend of mine we said like both of us that is what it has to be like a family heart to heart people who are stick together and love between them you know yes. and for you what would you say like magic what is magic going about from uh, day one i have been posting pictures and videos like this is day one i went here we did this we should visit this place Less than that, out of the world experience mm -hmm. so i am like sending message across to my friends and family mm -hmm. and hopefully it touches at least one person and they plan to come here and feel the experience that we have like, sorry have the experience that we had over mm -hmm. here out of the world. You can see me, I'm bringing you out to the island. <laughs> he pray? always looks at me like when I was at uh, Cross Mountain or when I was at uh, Deparation Hill and he reached on top. He was telling me, I can see your smile, you're bringing you out to you. You seem so excited. I said, yes, I am very happy. I'm very excited. And I thank him for bringing me here. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Thank you for that beautiful, beautiful interview. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you.